Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Red Dead Online. If you enjoyed this video, please become the president of a first world country and then spend all of its budget on military, therefore plunging it into a socio-economic crisis. As millions of hardworking citizens in your country are now impoverished, you should force them to subscribe to me in order to receive a basic amount of humanitarian aid, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Now for Wild West America, a simpler time when men didn't talk about their emotions and when guns were the solution to absolutely every problem. So basically, modern day America. It's honestly good to be playing this gorgeous game again. Sometimes when I'm making love, I close my eyes and think about its graphics. So I spawn into the darkness of Saint Denis and there's an unsympathetic chill in the air. Fortunately, my character is plus sized, which helps retain body heat. If he was female, everyone would say his larger body type was empowering and sexy, but as he's a man, he's just very fat. While waiting for the lads to arrive, I meet two friendly girl gamers who wave at me enthusiastically. I proceed to tell them that they smell via my what's that smell emotion. One of the players pulls out her gun, which I interpret as the start of a cinematic Mexican standoff, but she proceeds to pull the trigger and shoot me in the head immediately. As I'm a content creator who has the potential to influence my viewers, I take the high road and extract revenge with my shotgun. I then place her body on my horse because you never know when you might need a corpse. The sun rises and I meet the lads, Stealtho Robbo and Jezzo. Of course, Stealtho Robbo is playing as a female character and it makes me wonder if those other two women were just dudes as well. Food for thought, but either way, they were stinky. I head over to the map marker so I can check out this new update. My two friends from earlier are here doing the same thing and so I do what I have to do. I proceed to remove her body from my horse and place it in front of her to assert dominance. Then in one of gaming's most beautiful and respectful moments, she holsters her rifle and they both wave at me. And just like that, the wall between female and male gamers is destroyed. Equality is achieved in the Wild West. As they trot off into the distance, I hit them with a little you stink emote. I have the emotional maturity of a seven-year-old. We can now begin exploring this new update. I speak to Anthony Foreman and begin the stagecoach stick-up. We roll out as we admire the lantern hanging from Stealtho Robbo's steed. I have to hold my lamp like an idiot. Hold <laughs> 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 tied around your horse, mate. Apparently the rope is like $5,000. <laughs> <laughs> we arrive and take out the guards with a bow and arrow because guns are for disgruntled students. I locate the stagecoach schedule and we track it down, murdering everyone with guns because bows and arrows are for relatively pathetic superheroes called Hawkeye. I then miscalculate the stagecoach's ability to descend sharp falls and dramatically crash, failing the first contract. It's clear what the problem is. We need more lads. Stealth Omato and Crosby join the gang and we now have a truly unstoppable force. Oh my god, it's actually kind of badass with everyone. I'm on the scrawny Why would you get off your horse, Crosby? Because I have to go for dinner and I get more horse. I have to go for dinner in room. Let's pitch the tempos. <laughs> Wait, what? It's badass. No! You had one job. Keep Crosby on the back of your horse. <laughs> 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 we proceed to fail the first mission, and it's safe to say we are not off to the red hot start I was hoping for. I go and speak to Anthony Foreman again, and he gives us another job. This is our chance to prove that we are the most underrated and exciting young MLG talent on the competitive Red Dead Oceanic Circuit. I also finally get my epic cinematic shot of the lads. I assume award-winning director Martin Scorsese watches all my content, and I want you to know, Martin, that you can always slide into my DMs, big girl. The lads and I are more than happy to give you some cinematography tips and tricks. We arrive to a wagon full of explosives, which I'll do my best not to crash again. Speaking of, my little sister crashed her van into a ditch a few days ago. She calls up the towing company and explained that her van was on a 45 degree angle about to roll over. She waits two hours for the towing company to rock up and eventually this guy does, but he's in a hatchback. He takes a big drawer of his cigarette and says, how the hell am I going to get this out? They get in a huge argument and eventually some nice farmer ended up winching it out with his tractor. The moral of the story is women can't drive. Jess, <laughs> 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 put the dynamite away, Jess. <laughs> Nasty, bro. Are we just leaving more? Yeah, well, let's get dead weight. <laughs> Dude, that's like the eighth <laughs> time you've fallen off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. I didn't do what that. The Jesse, Look, now there's more room in the wagon. I hope they don't care there's no explosives in here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> On the way back, we pass some natural hot springs, and obviously we need to take a dip. Bathing in hot springs helps blood circulation and cell oxygenation. Plus, if you can't enjoy relaxing in water that's being heated by subterranean volcanic activity with your bros, you're not living life to the fullest. 
we go and visit big unit Anthony Foreman to get another job. Our mission is to locate and pillage a gang hideout, which we do incredibly well. Or maybe I'm just saying that, I guess you'll never know, but the point is, the lads need to put their feet up, so I take them back to my moonshine shack. I take them downstairs, and we proceed to start drinking at my bar. This is stressful! <laughs> Stop tapping the bar, you dogs! <laughs> 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 Give me a fucking drink! <laughs> Stop <laughs> eating all the almonds, bro! You're not even buying drinks! <laughs> 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 I then start slapping Crosby around, which is literally violence against minors as he is the youngest of us at only 17 years old. Modest Pelican supports violence against minors, I guess, but only when you've been drinking. <laughs> Suck your mum. <laughs> <Twice. laughs> <laughs> this kept us entertained for a solid hour, which I think says a lot about society. We sign up for another mission, and our job is to free Jeb Phillips from a wagon. I proceed to blow the lock off his cage with a shotgun, and the dodgy Malacca doesn't even flinch. I guess Jailbird Jeb isn't keen on re-entering society and becoming a productive citizen, as he asks us to help him wreak havoc on this town of Van Horn. Naturally, we're happy to be of service. Mission complete, and it's starting to become very apparent that a fair few of my mates are tradesmen, as we proceed proceed to have our third break of the day to go fishing. You see, my boy Stealtho Robbo has a dream. He wants to catch a fish so that he can prove to the world that he's more than just a thick female avatar. I saw a tweet the other day that said, My name is Jeremy and I'm here at Stealtho Robbo GTA Characters Lovers Anonymous because I've had 17 wanks over his character. Robbo is being objectified by this community and it's time we recognize that he's more than just a bunda. Hashtag save Robbo. A man wearing a wolf mask proceeds to tackle Robbo before he can reel in his cat. Catch. Super sad stuff. The fact is, we've been targeted by another posse and they're determined not to let us fish peacefully. I flee to the river and attempt to secure a boat, but like waves of zombies, they continually try to board. Then our boat sinks, just like it was a metaphor for my serotonin levels as I get older. Every year that goes by, true happiness slips further and further away. I'm kidding, I'm a pretty happy guy, I'm just annoyed that I got stuck in quarantine last week. Gamers really are the most depressed demographic. We load into a new server and begin fishing once again. Oh yeah, we got him boys. Look at the size of it. It's a great fish, bro. We got a throwback. What? <laughs> like, there's something like <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, oh my god, it got away! Oh no, you got it, you got it. <laughs> Truly an inspirational moment for everyone involved, and now it's time to get back to the update, which is the core purpose of this video. I'm kidding. First we steal a train and do a complete lap of the entire map. Why did we do this? Because we aren't scared to push the envelope. We'll happily spend the best part of 45 minutes producing 15 seconds of content. I head back to Anthony and start another mission. This one surprisingly wasn't us fetching a wagon, but rather burning some guy's house to the ground. Didn't even check if his family was home, but eventually he arrives. We then tie him up and seamlessly deliver him to some camp so that they can harvest his organs or some shit. I honestly skipped the cutscene. The sons of virgins, but it's 1898. You love to see it. The dodgy Malacca Jeb Phillips from earlier asks us to help him clear out some fort, and of course we're happy to do so. At this point, there's more of us than there is NPCs, so it's child's play. Plus, we have a browning machine gun, which really sucks for the big boppers cantering up to us wielding cattlemen's revolvers. As you know, this is still technically an educational Christian music channel, so we decide to do a little science experiment with said minigun so we can expand our minds. Oh my <laughs> lord. Oh my god, look at his body. <laughs> bro, this limb doesn't want to come off. Oh, there we go, we got it. Here, you go, bro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who thought a humble Australian gaming channel would be pushing the boundaries of modern science, yet here we are. It's also come to the lads' attention that I've never caught a fish before, and they are relentlessly bullying me about it. Cue the second cinematic fishing moment of the video. And when you what feel it, like, goes, you have to stream. press the right trigger to hook it. I got oh, it! Got I got it! You're on, Jeff. What do I do? <laughs> I'm reeling it in, bro. I mean, well. <laughs> okay, it's caught another one. Pew, pew, pew. It's my third soccer life. This is not an impressive catch. What is this? That's fish, mate. <laughs> What else, what perch? <laughs> I'm keeping that shit. I cook up my prize catch and cook dinner for the lads as we enjoy a few beverages together, which is incredibly wholesome. Now, though, it's time to heist a train. I played with the lads for five hours, and as you can imagine, people had to go to bed now, so it's just Jezo and I left to rob the train. Some may say we should have done the train heist earlier with all the lads, but then who would have helped me slap Crosby? Before we heist, I decide to purchase myself a machete from the fence. Good, clean, family-friendly fun. 
I then talk to Anthony and spend my hard earned premium capital currency that I purchased for 10 real world dollars so that we can rob this train. We're stealing some jewels that are apparently worth a lot. Our objective is simple, find a way onto the train. We decide to run a little recon as no one knows what we're up to yet. Just kidding, the guards open fire on me without hesitation because I guess they thought I was suspicious, aka racial profiling. I could have been a tourist or a confused blind man. I ride after the train which has a browning machine gun pointed right at me. These dodgy Pinkertons are trying to replicate our scientific breakthrough and I won't stand for it. I gracefully board the train and begin taking heads. I also free some prisoners because apparently I don't believe in the penile justice system. Jewel pouch looted and overall the new update well, it seems pretty good. Red Dead 2 is one of my favourite games. It's so damn beautiful and detailed, which I absolutely love, but it feels like the online mode could have so much more. The potential is insane, and I really hope they continue adding to it. I'd love to see purchasable properties, maybe you could upgrade and run your own ranch. I want to see bank heists and the ability to rob random travellers. It seems like all the content is right there waiting, but until then, I'll be violently beating children. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, you absolute legends. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.